Hi guys, Gian here of Gadget Pilipinas. Welcome back to the channel. It wasn't too long ago when we published our reviews of the Realme 5 and Realme 5 Pro by Emma Tortosa and Grant Soriano. Today we're going to give you our first look, unboxing, and first impressions of their latest product, the Realme XT. So the first thing that we need to do is to unbox the Realme XT. What we have is the pearl white version and this one is powered by a Snapdragon 712 with Adreno 616 GPU. And this one has 8 gig of RAM and 128 gig of internal storage. And I'm kind of really interested to see how the pearl white looks like. So yun sa mga pinaka sought after colors of this particular unit. No? And uh, yes, it's not yet launched in the Philippines and at the time of the production of this video, wala pa talaga tayong uh, SRP yung produktong ito. But you know, you can just probably guess how much it is. We would love to know your thoughts in the comments section down below. We'd love to know what you think about it. Now, this is the retail box as you can see. And without further ado, the unbox na natin siya. And let me give you my first thoughts about the product. Okay? So, ito na. Okay, um, as we can see right off the bat, alam natin na meron siyang in-display fingerprint sensor, which is a nice touch because uh, seems like everybody or every brand nowadays are trying to implement this kind of uh, technology in their smartphones, whether it's a mid-range uh, or flagship. Now let's go ahead and check out the rest of the items inside the box. And as you can see, uh, inside there's a sleeve uh, which contains the silicone case and uh, there are two documents here, the important information guide and also the quick guide of the Realme XT. And as you can see, there are two variants of Realme XT. There's 1921 and 1922. And based on uh, what we can see at the back, this model that we have is the RMX 1921. So I don't know the difference between the two, but uh, in so far as the model names are concerned, this one is a 19. 21. So I guess that the 1922 is probably the higher variant. I'm not sure about that. So don't call me on that. Hindi ko alam. <laughs> Pero that's what I know and that's what I think of. Right? So, and now let's go ahead and check out the rest of the items inside the box. Note that what we got is the pearl white version. And as I mentioned earlier, ito yung isa sa mga pinakahinahanap ng mga tao pagdating sa mga bagong uh, smartphones. So remember that uh, si uh, Samsung naglabas siya ng... Uh, Parang ganito kulay, kulay white. At isa yun sa mga pinakamabili sa mga binenta ni Samsung. And this time, with the Realme XT, they're kind of like embracing that with the pearl white version. And while we're gonna be checking this out later, ngayon pa lang, kitang hita ko na na this is going to be a big hit among those people or consumers na gusto yung mga white na smartphones. Okay, so uh, we'll go and check out the smartphone later. Now, for the rest of the items, we have here a Type-C cable, and yes, this one is uh, rocking a Type-C port, so this one is using that. And uh, we have a Vook charger, and uh, so far as the Vook charger is concerned, as far as I know, it's 4 amperes, so it's mobile since it's Vook charging, and Vook charging, uh, it's considered to be one of the fastest in the market. Now, I will be checking out the rest of the specifications, and it should be displayed right now on your screen. Now, uh, what else? So we have a uh, SIM ejector tool and no earphones. So yun, para kasi alam ninyo, wala siyang earphones. Now, before we get on to the product itself, let me show you the rest of the specifications of the Realme XT. Let's go ahead now and check out the product. This is uh, the Realme XT unopened in pristine condition. Sabi nga nila, no? Isislip pa natin or we're just gonna rip the plastic? Yes, subukan natin siyang ang galing na lang sa plastic. Kasi mahirap. <laughs> Alright, there you go. So, so this is it. Uh, wow, kumikinang-kinang pa siya. And uh, it's not the usual white because uh, para yung sa Galaxy S10 Plus ni Samsung, ganun yung dating niya, no? Meron siya parang shiny, shimmering <laughs> uh, looks. And as far as the cameras are concerned, as you can see right here, there are four cameras uh, in the Realme, on the Realme XT, rather. 
you know what, Realme is shaping up to be one of uh, the best emerging brands, tech brands in the Philippines. And uh, for such a short time, I think they're just more than one year, uh, and dami ng hits or big hits ng produkto nito. Uh, it's a big hit for a lot of gamers. It's a big hit for a lot of people who play Mobile Legends. Uh, a lot of streamers have covered and have uh, uh, talked about this smartphone for the past uh, six or eight months. And as far as I know, um, there's a lot of reason for them doing that. And with the introduction to the Realme XT, um, this is going to bring in more to the table. And for those of you who really play Mobile Legends, I know for a fact that this is going to be a product na sa tingin ko aspirational sabi nga nila no if you if you own for example a Realme 3 or a Realme 3 Pro right now and you skip Realme 5 or Realme 5 Pro this is something that you might want to check out and get no now right off the bat as you can see ang ganda ng pagkaputi niya and it's really something that I really like about the Realme XT sa unang tingin pa lang the four cameras as you see right here is are actually composed of a 64 megapixel F1.8 wide camera. Again, guys, hindi tayo nagkakamali sinasabi dito. No? 64 megapixels. And I can just imagine the kind of photos that I can take with this one. No? So, it should not just be a big hit for gamers out there, but it should also be a big hit for mobile photographers. And I cannot wait to see Realme pull off some maybe competitions or contests or promos. Uh, that will harness or that will you know uh, take advantage of the 64 megapixel camera of the Realme XT. Now, apart from that, uh, what we also get here is an 8 megapixel f2.3, a 2 megapixel f2.4, and a 2 megapixel f2.4 the depth sensor. So, yung pang-apat na camera is a depth sensor. So again, we have wide 64 megapixel, we have ultra wide 8 megapixel. And there's another 2 megapixel that is dedicated for depth sensing and another 2 megapixel for macro photography. Now, macro photography, we've seen this in other brands like Huawei uh, and it looks like Realme is uh, you know, positioning this as well to be able to do something like that. And I can't wait to try it out as well. Alright, now uh, apart from that, uh, there is uh, a flash right there. And on the left side, we have the volume keys. There's uh, the SIM uh, tray on the left side. Let's go ahead and check out the SIM tray because uh, I know some of you would want to want to know and want to see how it looks like. Um, right here, boom. Okay. So it's a tri-cut SIM uh, two uh, dedicated for your uh, uh, SIM cards and one dedicated for your memory card. So, wala ka problema doon if you think na, ah, feeling ko one memory card and uh, one SIM card ang pwedeng lagay dyan. No. So, this one is a tri-cut SIM. Pretty similar with the rest of the phones by Realme and also phones by Oppo. Okay. So, um, ayan. Uh, teardrop display. Uh, we have here a camera at uh, in front. And in terms of the camera in front, this one is a 16 megapixel uh, F2.0 uh, F rather camera. So, it's a 16 megapixel selfie camera and it features HDR photography. Again, uh, in front or front camera in HDR and it can even do a uh, selfie panorama. So, ito yung mga features that you should know about this product. And in terms of display, although we need to confirm this with the Realme, but this one has a uh, um, Gorilla Glass 5. So, that is something that we need to confirm though. But as far as I know, it is powered by or it is protected by uh, Gorilla Glass 5 and uh, for people na nag worry about you know their smartphones sa guys this one has Gorilla Glass 5 and it is uh, in terms of uh, for protecting the screen isa yun sa mga hinahanap ng mga uh, smartphone consumers dito may kasama siya na screen protector but I don't recommend that you actually remove it uh, sabi nga nila if it ain't broken don't fix it um, it if it distracts you though, then go ahead and uh, remove it. It doesn't say anything naman here that you cannot remove it. So I guess it is safe for you to remove this. Um, at the top, there is a microphone. And uh, at the bottom, there's another microphone. And uh, of course, a Type-C port. We have the 3.5mm headphone jack and the speakers. So, syempre, mono speakers and tie dito. 
we cannot expect this to have uh, speakers like the one on uh, Mate 30 Pro and speakers on the like of uh, the one on uh, ROG Phone 2 to have stereo speakers. So not we not that. No, hindi siya kaya na. Now in terms of build and construction, you can literally say here that Realme is trying their best to bring premium materials to their smartphones. Uh, yung pagka white niya is very much similar to the white prism of uh, the uh, Galaxy S10 Plus. I have the Galaxy S10 Plus here and uh, as you can see, konti konti na lang para na siyang, uh, para na sa talaga yung kay uh, Galaxy S10 Plus. And uh, it just really shows the commitment of Realme to uh, make their smartphones look really good. Uh, with a touch of premiumness to, to it. Not just uh, uh, in terms of the specs level, but also in terms of the design. So uh, that's something that we can really appreciate of uh, kay Realme. Now let's uh, take a look at now the smartphone. Uh, this is the Realme XT. I've uh, pretty much uh, set everything up for you guys. Um, and uh, for at least uh, mabilis ang ating unboxing and first impressions of the smartphone. Um, I played Call of Duty uh, with this smartphone just recently uh, and uh, all I can say is that I was able to play this uh, the game at 60 frames per second at very high settings on both frame rate and quality so I turn off lang yung some some of the the features like uh, bloom as far as I know uh, anti-aliasing pero yun naman talaga I turned off no and uh, if you're going to play games like that, especially in the competitive level, it is always uh, sometimes best to turn off some of uh, the aesthetics part of the game. Uh, para sa papano, in terms of um, speed, in terms of responsiveness, must optimize your game for that. And in so far as Call of Duty is concerned, here's a clip of my gameplay of the Call of Duty on Realme XT. <laughs> Yeah, sorry. So far, the frame rate is uh, blocked at 60. Advised, killer drone inbound, losing C. We're capturing A. May times na bumababa siya because I'm also recording. Ooh, sorry, sir. We lost Charlie. We're being dominated. Take those positions. Nice. Keep fighting. Hostile predator missile inbound. Oh, no. Not good. Not good. Okay. Now, in terms of camera performance, we will have a dedicated article about the camera performance of the Realme XT. But uh, let me go and snap some photos here since we're here already. But again, as I mentioned earlier, we're going to be uh, posting a dedicated article about the camera performance of this smartphone. So as I mentioned, this one has 64 megapixel uh, wide camera and that is something to look forward to. No? Uh, let me have a Spider-Man right here. What's up, buddy? All right. So let's uh, go and take a photo of Spider-Man. Dito. Okay, so that's uh, the quality that you're seeing right now. Let's uh, go and check out some of the features of uh, the camera. So ito yung two times zoom. Let's go with a five times zoom. Now this one also has uh, video capabilities and in so far as the videos is concerned, you can shoot up to 4K 30 frames per second. So 30 frames per second siya. Some of the features that you should know about the smartphone, ano ba? if you tap this, there's ultra 64 megapixel. Here's uh, Ultra 64 megapixel. 
Now, uh, if you take a look at the photo that we just took, uh, pag tingin lang yun sa camera, uh, sa laptop rather, we should be able to see kung gaano kalaki yung file. But I think we should be able to see that right here. So, the 64 megapixel we just shot, again, the dimension is a 9216 by 6912. Uh, focal length it, uh, is a 5.58 millimeter with an aperture of f1.8 and the size is 8.3 megabytes. Now if you compare that with uh, other photos we took na hindi 64 megapixel, uh, like this one that we just uh, took a photo of, this one is only 3.7 megabytes with a dimension of 4608 by 3456 uh, resolution. And uh, in terms of aperture and bokeh, tignan natin kung ano yung maging register niya. Kasi since f1.8 siya, kung gano'n ba kalabo. Uh, let's see if uh, mababasa pa niya or makikita pa niya yung likod, no? Let's go and take a, a photo. Spidey right here. And kung titignan niya yung bokeh sa likod, ang ganda na pagkaka-bokeh niya. It's uh, really good for its price. Yes, we don't know the price yet, but since we're looking at this at the sub-20,000 level, uh, papasa to sa atin, no? pasadong pasado sa atin to. Now, that's about it for our unboxing and first impressions of the Realme XT. An article about our first impressions is also posted on our website at gadgetfilipinas.net. And uh, if you want to know more about Realme XT, just tune in to Gadget Filipinas. We will be posting our full review soon. So what do you guys think about the Realme XT? Is it something that you will buy if you skip buying the Realme 5 or Realme 5 Pro? We would love to hear your thoughts in the comment section down below. And if you're new to the channel, I would appreciate if you could click that subscribe button and notification bell. Also, if you haven't liked our Facebook page, go to facebook.com slash gadgetpilipinas. Also, don't forget to check out our full review of the Realme XT on our website at gadgetpilipinas.net. Again, this has been Gian of GadgetPilipinas.net. Thank you so much for watching and see you soon on our next video.